This section we talk about quadratic surfaces in a two-dimensional space. I think you learned that in the college algebra. We're talking about quadratic curves. Okay. So in a three-dimensional space, we add z variable in. We got quadratic surfaces. For example, if we have like x squared plus y squared equal to 1. In the two-dimensional space, you said, I know what's graph of that, which is a circle. Every point on a circle, the distance to the origin is 1. Okay. The same equation in the three-dimensional space. Let's see what what is graph of that? You said, OK, it's a circle okay, on the xy plane. Look at this equation. The z variable does not show up. Okay. So how about, how about a circle like that? Say the point here, you have x, y, z. Since there's no z in this equation, so z can be anything. As long as x, y satisfy this equation, they will, I mean, this should be, so this shouldn't be a circle anymore. This should be a cylinder. OK, so wherever in your equation there's one variable is missing, then you got a cylinder, because in that direction you can be the one, whatever the missing variable can be anything. OK, so this section, there's not much theory. We just need to understand how to plot the quadratic form, functions, what you say. For example, we got something, quadratic function like this. OK, what's the graph of that? First of all, I want you to understand all those quadratic equations, their graph is a surface. OK, remember, it's a surface. So the question is, what kind of surface? OK, now, like, look, let's look at this. This is another example. What kind of surface is this? OK, now. If you let z equal to 0, if you let z equal to 0, then you get this, x squared plus y squared over 9 equal to 1. We know that z equal to 0, that means this is the curve, lies on, on the xy plane. So it's, we know it's a ellipse. Okay. And uh, then you let, you let x equal to 0. So you got like y squared over 9 plus z squared over 4 equal to 1. This is another curve. Okay. Okay. Let x equal to 0. Okay, what is x equal to 0? What is the graph of that? x equal to 0 is a plane. It's a yz plane. Okay. So, The equation, original equation, is a surface. x equal to 0 is another surface. Intersection of those two surfaces give you a curve, like that. Okay. So, which is another ellipse okay. on the yz plane, like this. OK, then you let y equal to 0. You let y equal to 0. Really is something like this. Y equal to zero and the same time you got x squared plus y squared over nine plus z squared over four equal to one. This is uh two equations. Those two equations represent two surfaces. One is y equal to zero, which give you x whole x z plane. 
so intersection of that give you x square y equal to 0 plus z square over 4 equal to 1 give you another ellipse so you put these three things together you can see you get something we call this an ellipsoid okay. see another example we want to see what this quadratic function looks like 4x squared plus y squared first of all remember this is a surface okay. Okay, now let's look at let's look at it. Figure out what kind of surface is this. Okay, now let's say z equal to zero. Okay, look at look at the right hand side. You got everything square, so the z cannot be negative. Okay, so your surface there's nothing there below the xy plane. Okay. Let's start with z equal to 0. z equal to 0 only possibility is x is 0, y is 0. So this point will be on the surface. Okay. Origin will be on the surface. Then we try z equal to 1. Uh, z equal to 4x squared plus y squared Again, these two equations represent two surfaces. Z equal to 1 is a, is a plane, okay? It's a plane like this. Like this. And this one is another surface. We want to see what kind of surface is that. So combine those two, you get 4x squared plus y squared equal to 1. So intersection of this two curve uh, two surfaces give you curve what is that is a is a ellipse right so it's something like that okay. then you try z equal to 2 if z equal to 2 then you got this well, z equal to 2 is a here say you got bigger ellipse Okay, then in this equation, you try this. You try x equal to 0, then z equal to 4x squared plus y squared. These two equations represent two surfaces again. Interception, interception of this gives you z equal to y squared. x equal to 0 is a plane, which is a yz plane. So on the yz plane, yz plane intersects your surface. You got z equal to x uh, y squared, which is a parabola. So combine those, you can see you got we call this paraboloid. Go all the way up to infinity. Now let's see the another example. X squared over four plus y squared minus z squared over four equal to one. Again, first of all, you have to know. You have to remember this is a surface. So to figure out what kind of surface is that, you always need to. Uh, if you can see the cross section, what is the cross section looks like? That will help you to understand the whole thing. So if I add z square over four on both sides, we got this. We got this equation. Okay, now one z equal to zero. When z equal to 0, you got x squared over 4 plus y squared equal to 1, which is ellipse. Okay. Now, when z, z is 1, okay, say here, z equal to 1, you got 
the right hand side is bigger. So you got a bigger ellipse. Since z there, you take a square. So z equal to negative one, you got the same thing. Like that. Bigger, you got a bigger, and like that. And now, if you let x equal to zero, combine with this equation, you got x equal to zero again. It's a is a plane, we can say the surface. Plane is a surface. So you got you got a y square if x equal to zero. You got a y square minus z square over four equal to one. Which we know that is is a hyperbola. So we call this thing the hyperbola. You need to read a book to for the summary, all kind of uh, quadric surfaces. The last example is z square over over c square equal to. Let me make it simple. Z square equal to x square plus y square. So what kind surface is this? Okay, for this one, y x equal to zero, y equal to zero, z equal to zero. So this point will be on the surface. If z equal to one, if z equal to one, or z equal to negative one, you got what? You got x square plus y square equal to one. So with z equal to one is a plane, you got a circle there. Also, you got the same circle for the z equal to negative one. If z equal to two, then you got a you got a bigger circle. Okay? You got a bigger circle. So this is pretty much like the question: What is the side surface looks like? Okay. So to to see that we let x equal to zero. Okay, combine with this. Again, this is x equal to zero is a surface z squared plus x equal to x squared plus y squared give you another surface. Intersection of those two surfaces give you z squared equal to y squared, which is equivalent to, say, z equal to positive and negative y. Okay. So x equal to 0 means it's on the y. The, this, curve, this curve is on the yz plane. What is this curve? This will give you two lines. That's why that's why this surface give you a cone. So for this section, you just need to understand uh, what is a quadric surface is look like. So all the things here that. I mean, all those quadric functions represent some surface. Just like a 2D, they represent curves, like ellipse, parabola, and so on and so forth. So here, 3D is more complicated. To be able to see the whole surface, you need to you know, understand what is a cross section looks like, especially with x, y plane, y, z plane, and x, z plane. If you can see that you can you know the cross section looks like, then you can figure out what is whole surface looks like.